Hi there, Doug Stuman with IT Creations. Today we have the HPE Synergy 12000 frame supporting up to 12 half-height server nodes in what HPE calls a composable infrastructure. This is different than traditional network architecture, which features separate building block appliances for compute, storage, and I.O. The frame 12000 includes all of these components in a single chassis. HPE's OneView management software is what brings it all together by creating pools of hardware components as virtual assets. IT administrators can then compose these virtual assets for different workflows or recompose to address other workloads all in the same chassis or across multiple chassis very quickly. Let's take a look. The underlying goal of this composable architecture is to deliver assets that energize growth, strengthen profitability, boost productivity, enhance innovation, increase organizational agility, improve the customer experience, and provide a competitive advantage. I grabbed that right off of the HP website. In a nutshell, composable infrastructures use a version of HP's OneView software to create software-defined pools from the associated hardware, resources of compute, memory, storage, and I.O. across the network. The management software allows IT administrators to compose environments using those pools of resources to optimize specific applications without over or under allocating resources and workloads quickly. That's where the agility part comes in. Composable infrastructures, by their nature, allow for rapid deployment and modification of infrastructure assets. With an agile infrastructure, companies can get to market faster and adjust quickly to changing market trends. Another aspect is to drive down costs, negating the need for separate teams responsible for storage, networking, and administration. The HP Synergy 12000 frame is such an appliance. The 10U chassis can support a multitude of different Synergy blades, including up to six full-width, 12 half-width, six double-wide half-width modules, three double-wide full-height compute modules, and a combination of these options. It's also compatible across Gen 9 and Gen 10 Synergy blades. With 12 half-width Synergy 480 Gen 10 blades outfitted with dual Intel Xeon scalable processors, that's 24 CPUs and up to 672 cores in a 10U space. This system is highly redundant with backups for backups, ensuring continuous operation under rigorous usage. HPE's OneView is embedded on one or two management modules, and there's also 10 fans, six 2.6 kilowatt power modules, and up to six IO fabric modules for three plus three redundancy per frame. Are you interested in the HPE Synergy Frame 12000? If you are, then for a limited time, you can save up to $500 off the purchase price of a system listed at $5,000 or more. Sound good? Just click that link to see pricing. We also have Synergy Compute and Storage nodes, plus the components to fully outfit this system. Call now. Our chassis features 12 HPE Synergy 480 Compute modules used for general purpose applications. Each has dual Intel Xeon E5 2660 V4 processors. 12 of the slots on each Compute module are populated with 8 gigabyte memory modules for a total of 96 gigabytes with both processors installed. Three mezzanine connectors support cards that link to one of three interconnect modules located on the back of the system. Each Compute node also has two 2.5 inch drives for local storage and a micro SD card slot located just beneath the HD trays. As I said, the Synergy 12000 frame supports several other compute and storage modules, including the HPE Synergy D3940 12 gigabit per second SAS drive enclosure, which by the way is ideal for direct attached storage. It provides up to 40 small form factor SAS drives, and the enclosure can support up to 10 compute modules at 12 gigabits per second using SAS HDDs or SSDs. We also have a full width Synergy 660 Gen 10 compute module that supports up to four top of the line Intel Xeon scalable processors with up to 28 cores each for 112 cores per compute node and 672 cores per frame. It also sports up to six terabytes of load-reduced DIMM modules that can operate at speeds of up to 2666 megahertz. Up to six mezzanine risers provide redundant network access, just like on the Synergy 480 node. The Synergy console in the front of the system is the Frame Resource Information Control Panel. This is where you connect the chassis for setup and installation, plus access to one view for frame infrastructure management. Access to the Synergy console from the back of the system is through one of the FrameLink modules, which is the control and information link for the rest of the hardware. The FrameLink module delivers data through a private Ethernet network solution at 10 gigabits per second. You can install one or two of HPE's Synergy Composer modules to manage the system. One is required and two are highly recommended for redundancy. HPE's OneView software is embedded on the Synergy Composer management module, which mounts in one of the two appliance bays on the front left side of the system. The Synergy Composer leverages the information provided by OneView to provide a single point of management enabling you to identify and allocate all Synergy resources, including compute, memory, storage, and fabrics, within a single frame or across several connected frames and enclosures. It also features auto-discovery when new hardware is added to the network. Profiles and templates for common applications are also included with the program, making it even easier to compose environments to support diverse workloads. LEDs on the front of the Composer provide system status indicating activity, health, and power. 
And that single USB port is for an HPE certified service provider only. A single Synergy composer can manage one or more frames linked through the frame link module. Dual Synergy composers are recommended for redundancy and high availability. Although instead of a second HPE Synergy composer, you could also go with an HPE Synergy image streamer. The image streamer works with a composer to provide enterprise level management and gives this platform greater agility to deploy and update infrastructure. The Synergy streamer also helps you manage the system like a virtual machine instead of a physical appliance. It uses the software defined data from the composer to help you rapidly deploy an operating system, identify and itemize the boot and run storage volumes, and update compute modules with operating environments, all at extreme speed. In a traditional environment, Installing an OS or hypervisor might take a while and include several restarts. With Synergy, the composer and streamer do the dirty work for fast implementation of OS images on compute modules and bare metal deployments directly into a running operating system. Surprisingly, none of these operations requires the use of any assets in the compute modules, which, by the way, is the definition of stateless operation. Opening the lines of communication within and between frames are the HPE Synergy frame link modules, with two module slots located on the back left-hand side of the chassis. The frame link modules provide a direct link to the Synergy Composer for resource information. It also connects directly to the interconnect modules. Each Synergy 12,000 frame comes with at least one frame link module, which provides an optional air-gapped 10 gigabit Ethernet management network ring for multi-frame communications. If you want redundancy or if you want to link multiple frames, you will need the second frame link module for each additional frame chassis you connect. The interconnect modules provide network communications. Module options support a number of different workloads and include Virtual Connect, Ethernet, Fiber Channel, and Satellite Interconnection Modules. Each of the potential three Interconnect modules on the top half of the system has its doppelganger twin for redundancy in the lower portion of the chassis. The Interconnect modules connect directly to the mezzanine cards supported on the compute nodes loaded in the front bays. Server nodes like the Synergy 480 Gen 9 server node have the potential to support up to three separate mezzanine cards, each of which can be routed to a separate interconnect module in the upper portion of the chassis, supported by its redundant twin in the lower portion of the chassis. As an example, a mezzanine card in the BI-16 PCI slot 2 of the Synergy 480 compute node will connect to the frame interconnect module in bay 2, with redundancy supported by the interconnect module in bay 5. On this specific chassis, we have four interconnect modules total, and that would be with two modules for redundancy. There are two HPE Virtual Connect SE 40 gigabit F8 modules supporting super fast network communications at 40 gigabits per second. The other two interconnect modules are HPE Brocade 16 gigabit fiber channel switch modules for connecting to other networks or storage adapters. Other optional interconnect modules provide connection speeds ranging from 10 gigabits up to 40 gigabits per second, and there are several to choose from depending on your intended workload. The HPE Synergy 12000 frame is very much like a blade server, allowing for support of several different operating systems and applications in the same chassis, plus back-end support for stability and security and shared resources. Combine that with the ability to rapidly deploy new applications and environments with a software management system that recognizes all hardware components as virtual assets and can pool these resources across multiple frames and enclosures in a linear fashion and let the music begin. We hope you enjoyed our review of the HPE Synergy 12000 frame. If you have any questions on this platform or any other, just post them in the comments section below. I placed a few links in the description, and if you want pricing on this system, just click that link. I'm Doug Stewin with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.